<laughs> the candle in the back is giving like 2016 like YouTube era vibes. She cute though. I'm gonna let her stay. What's up YouTube? I am back with another video. I know it's been a little second, but uh, we're back. I did like this makeup video uh, on TikTok like a few days ago. I don't really remember. Maybe last week. <laughs> I don't really remember. I want to say it was kind of like a soft goth type of vibe, which I didn't even really like think about it until I seen the comments in the video saying like just getting like goth. So it kind of gave me like the idea to make an actual like YouTube video out of it because I feel like I haven't really done like a soft goth type of vibe on this channel. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so for brows, I'm gonna use this dip brow from Anastasia in Taupe. Also pause nail check. Look at these beautiful babies. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> They're so freaking cute. So anyways, back to the makeup. And I'm gonna take this Anastasia brow brush. It's like so old, it doesn't even have like the number on it or anything anymore. So, but it's like this tiny, this tiny like flat angled brush. I am gonna cut off this one hair that's just been going faster than the rest of them. I don't know why it does that. Also, I'm just gonna do a little warning ahead of time. My neighbors are <laughs> really loud, like the ones that live above me. So if you hear like stomping, music, anything, it's them. So I have like really dark eyebrow hairs. They're basically black, but when I use like the taupe color, it kind of like lightens them and it makes it look more like gray than black. So I feel like this is like, it's not like a bleached brow look, but it just looks like it gives like a different vibe than like just having the same color, like my natural color brows. And then sometimes I still mix the, I mix like the dip brow with concealer to make it more like a little lighter, but I'm not gonna do that because I didn't do that for the TikTok. So I kind of want to keep it like the way I did it on the TikTok. So I don't know if you can see a difference, but one is definitely lighter than the other. Like all that was my neighbors just now. Also, can we take a moment, since it's been a few months since I've been on this channel, can we take a moment to like see the progress that my eyebrows have made, like the old tattoo? I feel like there's a lot of progress. Like they used to show so heavy, like, and even under my makeup, you'd be able to like see it. But now like you can barely see it and I don't have makeup on them yet. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we've come a long way. So now for concealer, I'm gonna take this Huda Beauty Faux Filter, what is it called? Yeah, Faux Filter Concealer. It's in the shade Meringue 2.1N. All of my like foundation concealer shades are all like in the neutral undertone. Category. I used to always struggle with like finding like foundations and like concealers that matched my skin tone It always looked either too orange or it looked like too pink and I could never like find Like something that matched me and I was like, I swear I don't know what I am And this was before I knew that like neutral existed But let me tell you once I figured it out mm, The game has changed now. I'm gonna just take the same concealer brush I've been using for like a thousand years. It's the Morphe M421 brush. Just like a flat concealer brush. It's literally my favorite for cutting out my brows. I've already done like a brow tutorial on this channel. So actually I'm gonna come back after I finish. Okay, so the brows are on. I basically concealed like my forehead as I blended out the concealer, but yeah. This is what the brows look like. Since this is like a darker, like more shadowy eye look, I'm not gonna do the rest of my face until after. So I'm gonna zoom you up. <laughs> not too close now though. For the eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna use this Nova Beauty palette that has obviously seen better days. I literally love this palette. Like every single color on here, except for like the shimmers. I do like this gray shimmer though. So basically how I start every eye look like since I've had this palette, which is like actually almost a year now. I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's actually called shade. And I literally feel like it's like the perfect transition shade for me. Um, Obviously transition shades are gonna be like different for everybody because everybody's got different skin tone. But for me, this is literally the perfect one. So just find like the transition shade that works best for you. But if you do have like similar skin tone to me, then 
this might be a good one you might want to try it i'm gonna just take this fluffy eye blender brush from elf elf just honestly makes super good brushes like elf and morphe that's basically like my entire and sonia kasha and amazon that's literally like all i use now i'm gonna be taking this flat angled brush it's similar to the one that i use for my eyebrows um it's just like from a different brand it's from amazon but it's basically like if you can just find a brush like this i'm gonna be taking the black the, i think it's like the darkest shade on this palette in the shade mood that's what it's called and i'm gonna just tap it in lightly and then i'm gonna start creating like a little like shadowing but yeah so i just drag it out and then i'm gonna connect it to the top so i just create like a little like triangle zoom in a little closer but yeah so we got like the little triangle and I'm gonna just drag it a little further, more towards like the middle. But for now, I'm gonna just keep it like pretty, not like super thick, because we are gonna blend it out with this smudge brush. It's from Sonia Kashuk. And you don't have to worry about this getting messy because we will clean it up on the outer like edge. Like if it starts looking like a fucking mess, don't worry. So then I'm gonna just basically repeat the same process i'm gonna go over it again just to darken it up and basically i just keep doing this until i get like kind of decent level of like darkness also when you're smudging it does tend to get like a little uh, thicker like as you go so that's why i say like kind of start a little more thin because it will gradually get thicker and then you can make it as thick as you actually want it to be So once it starts looking like that, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this Nova Beauty gel eyeliner in ASAP. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a matte black gel liner, and I'm just gonna focus that exactly where I put the shadow with the angled brush. And kind of just drag it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I just made that super like ugly, honestly. But we're gonna blend it out. <laughs> with the same smudge brush but this is how you're gonna get like that darkness like a super black look and then if there's any like spots where you feel like it isn't dark enough just kind of like dab it and then blend until it looks good um and then to kind of set that i'm gonna take the angled brush again and go in with that eyeshadow the black eyeshadow and we're gonna smudge one more time yeah that's the look like i said it's super like messy and it's smudged like honestly everywhere but but trust the process i'm gonna do that to the other side and i'll be right back okay so i just did it onto the other side now i'm just taking whatever is on this fluffy brush from the transition shade and just kind of blending everything together so now that that's done i'm gonna take the same black eyeliner and i'm gonna waterline my entire eye and then i'm gonna do the inner corner on the top so that it all kind of like goes together i swear they build a house every single day i swear they build a house up there Then with the smudge brush, I'm gonna dip into that black eyeshadow and kind of just set on top of the waterline so that it stays. And then I'm gonna just blend into the wing so that everything's nice and together. You feel me? You feel me? All right, so now after that, I go in with this Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Balm uh, Highlighter and basically I just take my finger and I just press it onto the center of my eyelid so I want like basically where my pupil is to go up into like and I do it a little bit at an angle so that it reaches like the the what is the word um the arch of my brow <laughs> but yeah so i just like press that on it doesn't really add a color it just adds like this glitter vibe and i love it i'm gonna take it back out because <laughs> that 
looks a little scary, isn't it? For mascara. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna also curl my lashes. I don't even know what eyelash curler I'm using, to be honest. I have to look. Oh, it's from e.l.f. It's just a little e.l.f. lash curler. Oh, that felt awful. I'm just trying to squeeze and hold for like 10 seconds. All right, and then for the mascara, I'm gonna take this Milk uh, Kush mascara. It's like super heavy, I love it. And it's also like, she's real thick, like she's real <laughs> thick. And you don't really gotta go crazy with this because um, at least I'm gonna put lashes on, you can do what you want, but I feel like I feel like we still need lashes but it does look really cute like this also i just like i'm like a lash girl like just you know yeah honestly it's starting to come together like i said you could leave it like this you could you could i'm not judging you it's honestly cute like this but i'm a lash girl but i'm not gonna do the lashes until after the face is done so i'm a ooh, wrong way i'm gonna use the one size secure the blur makeup magnet primer she looks like this. I honestly love this primer and I'm very fucking picky about primers, but this one like it makes your makeup last so long. Like I literally fell asleep with my makeup on. But since I already have concealer up here, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do all that. But I'm gonna just put it on down here. What was I saying? Oh, I literally fell asleep with my makeup on after I used this primer. It was like right when I first got it. And I like woke up and my makeup was still like contour blush, like Everything was on except for my lips and a little bit of my eyes was gone. But my brows were still on and I had put it on my whole face. Um, I did it before my concealer and my brows. So like literally the whole face stayed on. Yeah, this primer does magic. And I also wore it in Mexico and it's like super humid there. And I like literally the second I step outside, I started sweating profusely. And especially like my upper lip and stuff starts getting wet. So this primer does magic for real. My, my makeup would have been gone. But the fact that my makeup lasted as long as it did while I was in Mexico was really crazy. It never has happened like that ever. So I vouch for this primer. Anyways, for foundation, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter uh, foundation. It's in the shade 175. I'm super pale. But yeah, so I'm gonna just do two, two pumps. And then I'm gonna blend her out with this e.l.f. Beauty Blender. I literally love this foundation. It's like so freaking pretty and it literally does look like a filter on your face. For contour, I use the Patrick Ta She Sculpted. I use these e.l.f. contour brushes, complexion duo brush. I use both the powder and the cream, but I go in with the cream first. I literally love how this blends. I barely have to do anything. Like, did you see how fast that just all happened and i'm just gonna add that onto my forehead and i do drag it like towards like my mouth because i have like chubby hamster cheeks so i feel like it kind of just like hides my like buccal fat and pretends like it's not there um but yeah this is basically all i do for contour but i do set it so i have this one that i use for cream and then i have the exact same brush but i use it for powder just like a quick little set i love this color for my nose contour also but i realized that the house labs bronzer shade that i use it's in medium level eight this is a little darker than the she sculpted and if you know me then you know that i like a very like dramatic nose contour so i literally just go straight in i don't even tap off the excess i just go straight in and start building a nose you feel me as i was contouring my nose my camera overheated but i was in the middle of saying that if you want an actual nose contour tutorial i do have a video on that on my youtube anyways i'm gonna use this mac blush in totally synced because it's like a super pale, muted, cool toned, amazing, perfect pink. So I'm just pressing that kind of like on top 
of my contour like just above it and i'm gonna run that over my nose just a little bit just to blend out the contour just a little bit but you can barely see it which is kind of the point but um for concealer i'm gonna go back in with the huda beauty concealer that's what i use for my eyes i'm gonna just put that right underneath in the center of my forehead and then on my chin basically all like the center points and high points on my face so that we can highlight everything that needs to be highlighted and i like to like keep that focus in the center because it kind of like pulls out your chin um so i don't like to blend it out like too far on the sides and it looks crazy right now but once you blend out the rest of the concealer everywhere else it kind of starts to all look more seamless like it's already looking more like purposeful and then this is where we go ahead and like clean up like the edges so everything that was smudged and messy with the eyeshadow this is like your opportunity um but i'm just gonna set it right away with the laura mercier powder literally right away with before looking down just so that i don't mess anything up like oh, super snatched yes all right so now that the under eyes are set and super snatched i'm gonna set the rest of the places that i have concealer and around like my mouth because that's where i tend to crease like the most so i know y'all been seeing this literally like everywhere on tiktok it's like the water resistant faux freckles i honestly love it i was using the freck xl this one for a long time the only thing is that i feel like it like it's kind of like red like when the first time i used it i put it all over my face and i swear like by the time i was done using it it was already like a reddish color so it looked like i had like chicken pox more than freckles i don't know i like really just used it more for like fake moles but when i like blend it and like tap it in it starts to turn red for some reason i don't really know why but for this one they do have a light to dark and then like an extra dark or like a deeper i forgot what that color is i was almost gonna get that one because i was scared that this one was gonna do the same thing where this one would be like maybe too light and that maybe that's why it like shows red but i don't know i took a risk and i did the one that's light to dark and it actually seems to work like pretty good and it looks like just like regular brown like actual freckles so first i like to do like the little like nose freckles and then i still like to cover up my blemishes as like moles but i do the freckles first so i like to focus it like where i contour like a little like line on top i like to start there and i just do like a few dots And then just tap and i basically just do like you can do as many as you want i feel like it's pretty easy for me to get like carried away with the freckles so i don't like to do too much because it starts looking crazy but yeah so if you can see that that's basically what i do i just go over all the big blemishes that really show and like this one's like 3d it's literally coming out of my face so i'm gonna cover that with a little mole and it looks like the mole is just like 3d so those are basically the ones that are like the big moles and then i'm gonna add a few more freckles like on my forehead and like kind of like bring it up a little higher and then like onto my cheek <gasps> and then onto my cheeks so this is one side and this is a side with no freckles <sighs> my camera died um i forgot even what i was saying but this i finished like the freckles so we can zoom in real real quick so you can really see what we're working with i did a few up here i did these look mad dark but i did a few on this side but now that that side is darker i think i just need like to be like a little darker but freckles aren't supposed to be perfect so you don't need to make them like super symmetrical they're literally not um i feel like it gives more like the soft vibe because it gives like as if you had less makeup on but to finish off the look before my camera dies again because i literally just charged it for like 10 minutes i'm gonna be using the cookie highlight from benefit and i'm gonna use this super thin morphe m250-1 brush it's like literally tiny and this is what i'm gonna use for my nose highlight i'm gonna just draw like a line straight down the middle 
I usually do a few passes because I like my nose highlight to be like super blinding. And then I just put on a little bit on the tip. For the rest of my highlight, I'm gonna use this Morphe brush Y20 and run it over my lips on the top. And then I'm gonna go back in with the How Many Carrots from Fenty Beauty and use this Morphe. The number is smudged off, but I don't know, it's like a fluffy brush. It's not really meant for highlight, I don't think, but I use it for highlight. But I just like stamp, I like press it on because this highlight has like glitter specs. So I like it to look more like specs than like highlight and like shimmer, I don't know. Basically that's it for the whole face. I'm gonna just set everything with the Morphe setting spray. For lips, we're actually gonna use the same eyeliner that we used for the eyes, the matte black eyeliner from Nova Beauty in ASAP. I'm gonna use that as my lip liner. What's kind of cool, what I noticed when I did this look the other day is that since it's eyeliner, I don't know really what the difference was. Like I wasn't really expecting a difference between eyeliner and lip liner, but the eyeliner literally didn't smudge. Like it took way longer for this to come off than like a regular lip liner. So if you ever want your lip liner to last all day, maybe think about using eyeliner. <laughs> For your lip liner it doesn't have to be black but you know what i'm saying and then for the lipstick i'm gonna be using the kim kw lipstick from charlotte tilbury it's like this super like nude color and i'll just put that on the inside which kind of gives it like this softer like look like it's still like a goth look because of the black But I feel like the nude on the inside just looks like... So I'm gonna come back after I put the lashes on. They're just from Kiss Lashes and they're uh, in this now little back dress. And I'm also doing my hair and... Oh, also don't forget mascara on your bottom lashes. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I put the eyelashes on. I put mascara on my bottom lashes and I did my hair because it was looking raggedy. But yeah, this is like my take on like a soft goth look. Like the goth is still there, but it's like it's like not like too intense. So that's basically it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. And if you made it to the end of this video, I love you. If you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me. I'd love to see it. Anyways, hope you have a good day. Mm -hmm.